Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna see how we can test the injectors on this Ford Fiesta 2010. So injectors are located down there. We're gonna see how we can reach to the injectors and how we can test the injectors, wiring and injectors themselves. Before starting the video, if you guys haven't subscribed the channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe. We also have a full online course for all sensors on the engine including 18 different type of sensors diagnostic on the engine it's a four hours course that you will learn a lot and you will get a certificate of completion as well if you are interested in that course you can find the link in this video description or the first comment down below so in this car injectors are located just right down there so on this part you have access to the injectors wiring so for Checking the injectors, you can just take this hose out and injectors are located under that part. So injectors connectors are connected to the injectors through this part with some clipses. So if I pull this one up, so it's gonna come up like this. So be careful when you are taking it out, you should not lose these clipses because they are actually holding the connector on the injector. So if you look now, these are the injectors connector and they are injectors. Of course, injectors are connected to the fuel rail. This is the fuel rail. And you see there is one bolt there and one bolt right there that you can remove to take the entire fuel rail out. And if you take the fuel rail out, you can remove the injectors as well. And on this side of the fuel rail, we have the fuel line. So basically before removing the injectors or the fuel rail itself, we need to depressurize the fuel line to make sure after disconnecting, fuel is not gonna splash anywhere. So for that, you can find the fuel pump fuse on the fuse box, take the fuse or relay out, start the engine and let the engine die. In that case, you are actually depressurizing the fuel line. It's actually to do the job much more safer. So right now that we have disconnected the connector so what we can do for checking the electronic side of the injectors we can check the internal resistance of each injector and for wiring side as you see for each injector we have two wires so out of those two wires one is the power supply for injectors which is provided from fuse box so when ignition switch is on if you check the power supply you should have battery voltage i'm gonna try it right now the other one is the control line, which is controlled by the ECM. So ECM provides the ground on each injector based on the sequence. So it means the ground is not provided all the time. ECM provides the ground anytime that it wants to activate the injector. That ground can be checked by a noid light. We have another video on the channel for checking the injector's control line with a noid light. You can check the description to watch that video too let's keep going for checking the injectors internal resistance and power supply i'm going to use a multimeter black probe on a good ground and red one on positive side of the injector so i start from here so as you see on this one i'm getting battery voltage same story here as well and here as well so injectors are here they are all connected to this fuse F16 inside the engine fuse box. So this F16 fuse is providing the power for all injectors. So if that fuse is broken, of course you won't have the power supply on any of those injectors and you won't be able to start the engine. And right now, if I show you the F16, it's gonna be just right here. This is F16, which inside the fuse box is this one. One, two, three, four, five. So this 15 amp fuse, F16, is the injectors fuse on this Ford Fiesta. So if that one is broken, you won't be able to start the engine. And when you check the injectors, you won't get any power supply on all injectors. But if the issue is just on one injector, it could be on the connector or some part of the wiring. But what about for the injectors themselves? I put the multimeter on resistance and just right here, as I showed you, we have the injectors just right there. I'm gonna check the resistance across the pins on each injector. So as you see, I'm getting 13.5 ohms, 
for injector number one. Same story, number three. Same story. This confirms that the electronic side of the injectors are working properly with no issues. We can also check the injectors by a scan tool. It means by a scan tool, instead of activating the injectors, we can disable the injectors. It means engine should be running. Of course, when engine is running, injector should be working. So what we do, we disable the injectors one by one. If one injector is not working or it's not working properly, if you disable that injector, you see that the engine operation is not gonna change that much. But if one injector is working, if you disable that injector, you see the engine starts hesitating a lot. So that's actually one way if you have a scan tool to diagnose the injectors and injector control line as well. There is another video on the channel for testing the injectors with a scan tool as well. I put a link for that video in the video description as well. So you can watch that one too. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos.